So it's Friday night here at the farm. Um, getting ready to do another syrup day tomorrow. There is rain scheduled for this weekend though, so I've been thinking all week, what the heck can I do to kind of make this an indoor operation? So here's what we came up with. Just build it out of some two by fours and an old tarp. So here, I'll show you around here. Basically just build a lean to made a scissor at each end ran a two by four in between scabbed a couple furring strips on the outside to hold the tarp on and i think we'll be able to stay dry tomorrow hopefully hopefully well, we've been up and at it for about an hour hour and a half already this morning um, so when you improvise, you also got to be ready to adapt, so uh, it didn't quite go as planned. Our little improvised lean-to that we made last night, kind of was expecting the rain to have already started by the time I got going this morning. I guess thank goodness it hasn't yet, but we were exhausting a little too hot and I managed to melt a hole up there in my tarp. So we had to slide this back, knock all the brick over, slide it back a couple of feet. So now we're outside, just outside of the, the tarp. Um, Dad is on his way to the hardware store right now. He's gonna grab a little 90 for the top of this chimney pipe. And we're gonna kind of send it up and then out to get it exhausting away from the plastic. So I think that'll solve my problem. Since last week the big focus of the video was kind of walking you through how the process works, today I'm kind of just going to show you what I'm doing differently. We uh, took the time to, to line the brick all the way around to try to hold in some more heat. I have a little bit more sap to try to get through today than I did last week. Last week was about 16 gallons. This week I'm in the mid-20s. So with all that extra sap, I think uh, the more heat I can hold in, the better boil I can keep, the quicker it's going to keep the process going. Uh, until I get that uh, that elbow put on top of the, the chimney pipe here, I'm kind of trying to keep my fire a little bit cooler, not getting it up to as high of a temperature because I don't want to melt the plastic anymore because that rain is going to come and I would like to stay dry this afternoon. Um, there's also going to be a pause in the action today. I'm going to have to leave for a couple of hours. I get to go meet my nephew today. Uh, my brother and his wife Erin had little baby Jasper last night. So really, really excited to head to the hospital this afternoon and, and meet my, my new nephew, my first nephew. We all can't wait. Come here, boys. Hey. Hey Pablo. Whoa. A little feisty. Something else I didn't make mention of in the last video. The foam that forms on top you want to scoop it off because all that is the impurities, extra minerals and stuff that are in the sap, you know, all the nutrients from the trees. All the, all the sap is is just the food for the tree. So there is all sorts of other things in it, you know, whatever it's pulling out of the soil, you know, calcium, nitrogen, whatever it may be, as it boils off, all that stuff that comes to the top is foam. All stuff that'll make your syrup not taste as good. Seem to be getting a lot more of it this week than I did last week. I'm also curious to see if I'll get a little bit darker syrup this week. From what I've read, the later in the season it is, um, it gets a little bit less sweet and a little more dark. So, curious to see what I end up with today. Oh, we got our elbow installed. So at least now we're exhausting way out from outside of the 
the tarp. So next week, we'll slide the stove back up in here, and then we'll still be exhausting out the back. So you don't know till you try, learning more each week. Well, we're just back from the hospital to meet my nephew Jasper. Uh, like his mom said, he's the cutest little old man potato you ever did see. So I did lose my boil, but that was pretty much to be expected. Now I'm getting the, getting the fire going again to try to bring everything back up to temperature. And we'll get rolling again here soon. Well, I still have almost 10 gallons that I haven't put into the evaporator yet, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to be just finishing up what I already have in the pots for today. The wind's starting to pick up a little bit. I'll show you guys here. Something else I'm doing different this week. So last week, I had seen somebody online that had just done it with, with cotton, with t-shirts, and I had a little bit of problem with, I still had some sugar sand in my finished product, so I bought these actual maple syrup filters, this one here. It's just a synthetic filter. So I'll be bringing my big pot back outside, but I'll take my, my pan and I'll be dumping it in here once I reach about 216, 15, something like that degrees on the evaporator over there. I'll strain it and then I'll take it in the house and bring it up to about 219. And there's a wool filter that I'll be showing you here in a little bit. And that's the filter I'll be using to finish it off. Uh, it should do a lot better than what the t-shirts did because it is purposeful. It's actually a maple syrup filter. So, hoping it works a little bit better. The rain finally showed up. I'm dry as can be. Tarp's working out pretty good. Bring myself up a little work light. Getting down to the end here. Starting to get some good color. About 213 and a half degrees. Trying to get a couple more degrees. And I'll be filtering it and taking her inside, finishing it off. So just like last week, I got my syrup up to about 215 and a half degrees out on my evaporator. I strained it off. Uh, looks like this filter did a pretty good job. It, uh, there's quite a bit of quite a bit of sugar sand and stuff down in there, so hopefully it does a little bit better job. Now I'm here working on the stove, bringing it back up to trying to get to 219. And then I was telling you earlier about I have this thicker filter. It has the same synthetic filter that'll go on the inside. And then this is a kind of like a, I'm pretty sure that it's wool. I'll sift it through that before I bottle it up and hopefully it'll be crystal clear all the way through this time. Fingers crossed, it looks like those new filters may have done the trick. So far, it doesn't seem like I have the same sediment. Well, not sediment, but sugar crystals in it like I did last time. I ended up with 10 bottles, but I didn't get the crystals last time until it cooled, so we'll let it sit here for a little bit and see what happens. After letting them sit overnight, it would appear I spoke a little too soon. As you can see, everything kind of settled out to the bottom. So I guess my filters weren't quite as foolproof as I thought they were going to be. So I guess we have a little more research, try to figure out maybe where I went wrong, Maybe I can get, I don't know, we'll have to see. Uh, if you have any thoughts on it, um, leave it in the comments below. Uh, so since I had all that sugar sand that ended up settling to the bottom of my bottles, I decided I unbottled them all and I put them back on the stove and I warmed them back up and I ran them through the filter again. And that seems to have done the trick. It's been a little while now. And as you can see, they are clear as can be. No sediment. They look like maple syrup, they're absolutely gorgeous. So second go around, plus a little tweaking, and it seems to have turned out pretty good. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, be, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Uh, hit that bell icon so you get all the notifications of any new videos. And thanks for watching.